Welcome back. In the last video, there was one file we didn't look at, the underscore underscore layout dot svelte file. There may be times where you want a specific layout to be repeated on multiple pages. That's exactly what this file does. By itself, it will wrap the entire routes directory with whatever is in this file. This can be overridden with a different layout by adding a dot reset to the file name in the folder you want to change. Let's take a look inside the main layout file. The first thing we see is a script tag, just like a regular HTML script tag. There's a header being imported and we'll also see the first way we can style our application by importing a style sheet. This is a regular CSS file that can be used to style things globally for the project. Below the script block, there is some markup that might look similar to HTML, but this is actually a superset of HTML, providing some extra features. You may notice a tag you don't recognize, a slot element. The slot is how Svelte knows where to put content from the other routes. First, the header component is being used, then the main element, and we are telling Svelte to place any other route's content inside of the main tag. Then finally, the footer is below. If we scroll down further, we'll see another way to style in SvelteKit with a style tag. CSS in a style tag is scoped by default in Svelte, which means these styles only affect the elements that are in this file. Also, if you aren't using a style in that file with the VS Code Svelte extension, you see we get a nice visual warning that lets us know. Although any unused styles will be wiped out of your production code when it gets built, let's switch this to the correct element to apply the styles. Now we are correctly styling the A element to change the color of the link. Since styles are scoped by default, if there is a case where you need a style to apply everywhere in a project, you can use the global selector. We put the A element inside to select all the links on our site. Finally, you can also use popular libraries like SAS or Tailwind as well. We will walk through these more later and how to install them in our starter kits.